Hello. I am very proud of myself today. I made myself a bonnet, like a little Bo Peep bonnet. I don't know what era of history it's supposed to be from. I just looked up some basic instructions for making a poke bonnet and I threw whatever I had in the closet onto my project and it turned out all right. Of course I did this because I have a sheep and everyone calls me Mary who had a little lamb or a little Bo Peep or whatever it is. So I've always wanted one of these and I'm very proud of myself. I think it's pretty good for a first project so I'm going to show you. This is the front part. I'll show you it on in a minute. Um, underneath is a black straw hat that I got for a pound fifty. And then this fabric here was part of a shawl I had that the rabbit ate half of. So it was kind of useless. I knew I'd have to use it in a project. This was a actually a pair of trousers that I made into a skirt and it didn't fit me properly anyway. I didn't like the look of it. So I used it as the fabric for my bonnet. Now, if I get really fancy, I'll use binding tape along the edges or some kind of a lace or something. And this little purple bit here was actually a belt from a child's pair of trousers. And I don't know what else to tell you. I'm just going to show you how it looks on. But I'm so proud of it. It looks so cute. The ribbon's a little bit raveldy at the end, so I'm going to have to, like, re-sew it or something. So I think it looks wonderful, but obviously to Raven I look like a baby. But it's perfect. See that? I'm still pretty darn proud of myself anyhow. I hand sewed parts of it. I used the serger on the raw edges of the straw hat, and that helped keep everything together. And all in all, don't mean to brag, but I did it. I would thank Threadbanger if they were still you know, Rob and Corinne and all of that, because they really inspired me to do all this stuff. But, um, thank you, Rob and Corinne, anyway. Pretty sad they're gone. And anyhow, don't I look adorable? I'm so proud of myself. Now I just need, like, a shepherdess crook kind of thing. And then, um, Duncan and I will go for walks. Ileana, 12-year-old now, was, um very gracious about the fact that her school bus pulled up this afternoon while I was walking Duncan with Raven and I was wearing this oversized baby bonnet. Um, she didn't say anything mean, she just goes, Mom, Mom, Mom. She didn't even know what to say. It was funny. But uh, hopefully there won't be any long-standing repercussions for my actions there. I just didn't really pay attention to what time it was, and I happened to be out there when the bus arrived. Um, so maybe therapy for her when she's older, but um, she'll survive. I think we've all endured much worse. Well, I don't know. That's pretty bad, your mom showing up dressed like this. But look at it, it's so cute! I want, to, I want a patchwork one. I don't know how to show you how it all looks. I think I'll put flowers on it. But I want a patchwork one that's kind of got greens and colors in it that I normally wear a lot. Because black is kind of... I may go with everything, but it is kind of like I'm in mourning for my lost childhood or something. And I don't want to give that message. I love life. Anyhow. There you go. I'm done showing off.